channel guys so um i see this is going to be a weekly thing this is video two of our cooking series so i was just about to start cooking and i said you know what let me pull out that camera before you guys kill me so today we will be making stuffed chicken breast so um i i'm not gonna lie this is my first time making the stuffed chicken breast however i love making stuffed salmon so it's similar to that um i do have a video of making the stuffed salmon on my ig um which i will be recreating that video and putting it on youtube for the full video so we're going to get right into it so we already have the chicken seasoned up waiting um the ingredients will be down below in the um, description box but you're going to need chicken breast seasonings of your choice you're going to need um, cream cheese, spinach, garlic. I'm using fresh garlic this time. I ran out of minced garlic in my store downstairs that I didn't have. Parmesan cheese and butter and oil. And I believe that's it. If I'm missing anything, it will still be listed in the description box because um, I'm rushing. So we want to start with the spinach. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil in the pan for the spinach. Okay. So while that's heating up, I want you want to get a bowl for your your stuff. So I'm only making one stuff salmon. I mean, one stuff. So again, I am not a chef. I am not a professional. So Okay, so that's heating up. So you want to put your garlic in first. So it all depends on how, how many stuffed chicken breasts you're doing. So I'm just going to put a little because I'm not doing a big one. And you want to make sure that your your cream cheese is softened. That it sat out for a little bit. to season up your spinach a little bit. So when the spinach is done, you would like you want to let it cool off a little bit before you mix it with the cream cheese because you don't want your cream cheese melted. You want it softened, but you don't want it melted. So I'm going to place this, place the spinach in the freezer for about one to two minutes. My freezer is it freezes very fast. So 
So the spinach is cooled off. So I'm going to add the cream cheese to the spinach now. Might need to get some more cream cheese, let's see. Why am I using a, a fork is beyond me. You want to get some Parmesan cheese. Let me give that a mix. So I have more spinach than I have cream cheese. So I'm going to add a little bit more cream cheese. So if you would like, you can add some seasoning to the cream cheese and the spinach dip. However, since I seasoned my spinach, I don't have to add seasoning to it. I am going to add a little bit more cheese, just a tad bit. So you're going to take this dip, I said dip, no, you can eat, actually eat this as a dip, but you're going to take it and you see we got the chicken breast nice and seasoned, seasoned the top, the bottom, and I made a small pocket. So you're going to take that, that dip, hold on, I'm going to make sure it's nice and stirred up. So you're going to take that dip and fill it in that pocket. Okay. So it's okay if it doesn't close, guys. It's okay. So you're going to take that dip and mine's may be too stuffed however but i did make a lot of dip however you're going to take i'm actually going to put, place it on this plate so you can see it better oh that is too much dip it is i actually need to i can cut it open more that's what i'm going to do So we're going to open this up a little more. I can, you can either open it up more or you can put less. So it's up to you. I'm going to just open it up a little more. You don't want to go too much where you slid it through. So be careful. That's why if you don't know what you're doing, just put less. Okay. Do it section by section. See, I can leave it like that. Matter of fact, I'll just leave it like this. No, but then you see it's room. So we can put a little more. We can put it in here.
So you're going to take two picks. And you're going to push it through. So we don't lose that filling. you have that you made the spinach in you now you're now going to make the chicken breasts so I'm going to add a little bit more oil and while that's heating up preheat your oven I'll say to about 350, 375. That chicken breast. And the oil. One second. I don't want to lose our filling. So you want to cook this, I'll say about three to four minutes on each side. My flame was actually too high, so it actually cooked two minutes on the other side. So I did turn it down to medium flame, and I'll let you guys know how long it's going to cook. So the chicken is nice and brown and cooked. So I'm actually going to now put it in the oven at three, I have my oven set for 375. So I'm going to put it in the oven for, I'll say 20 minutes. So while the chicken is cooking, clean up or make finish making your size. So I took the chicken now. I let it sit a little, so it looks really good, guys. Really good. So I'm gonna take these out. Then we're going to plate it. So I'm just having mashed potatoes with it. Nothing fancy. Oh, it's hot. I'm just going to place. Whew, that was hot. I ain't gonna lie, that was hot. So I'm just going to place it on the middle. Let's push it in. And there we go. There we got it. We have a stuffed chicken breast with mashed potatoes. So we're gonna try it in one minute let me get a thumbnail so we're gonna eat this up guys we're gonna taste it I, mm, I already know this is good i keep tasting it but let's taste some with the chicken mm. Mm -mm. So good, y'all. So good. Mm -mm -mm. 